Hey, and welcome back to the Family Records. Six times a week, we pull a random record out of my collection and explore the stories of the music and the musicians. Today's artist was half of one of the best-selling bands of the 1960s. When we find them in 1975, they have been a solo artist for five years, only speaking to their old bandmate a few times a year. In these five years, this artist had released three solo albums, performed at benefit concerts for a political campaign, and taught songwriting at New York University. Speaking about their desire to teach, they said, you can teach somebody about writing songs. You can't teach someone how to write a song, I don't think. I'd go to a course if the Beatles would talk about how they made records because I'm sure I could learn something. 1975 would also be the first time in five years that they would record a song with their former bandmate. Let's drop the needle on. Paul Simon, still crazy after all these years. Speaking about the end of Simon and Garfunkel, Paul Simon said, at that point, I just wanted out. Their final studio album, Bridge Over Troubled Water, had been a massive hit, topping the charts in 10 countries, but the creative relationship of the band was strained beyond repair. While they would reunite in 1972 for the benefit concert, Together for McGovern, that reunion likely had more to do with the campaign of George McGovern, an anti-Vietnam War candidate, than a creative reconciliation by the pair. Paul Simon spent his solo time making two acclaimed albums, Paul Simon in 1972, and There Goes Ryman Simon in 1973. Two years later, his fourth studio album was highly anticipated, but before he could release it in October of 1975, he had personal obstacles to face. One of these was his divorce from his first wife, Peggy Harper. This partly led to Simon deciding that the material on this album would be a little more personal. Another obstacle was preparing for the material for that album. There was one song, My Little Town, which Simon says he wrote with Garfunkel specifically in mind. Quote, it was originally a song I was going to write for Artie. I was going to write a song for his new album, and I told him it would be a nasty song because he was singing too many sweet songs. It seemed like a good concept for him. After Simon played the song for Garfunkel, the two decided to collaborate. Again, on this one track. It would appear on each of their studio albums to be released in 1975. As their solo projects, Garfunkel's second and Simon's fourth, took shape, the buzz surrounding the surprise reunion of the two singers was massive, further fueled by a performance on Saturday Night Live, which took place one week before the release of Still Crazy After All These Years. During the show, Simon and Garfunkel played The Boxer, Scarborough Fair, and their new collaboration, My Little Town. Paul Simon had already achieved solo success, as had Art Garfunkel, but surely their reunion after half a decade must have caused some anxiety for the artists respectively. Would their solo offerings hold up around the weight of their reunion track? Paul Simon wouldn't have to wait long. He played Saturday Night Live on October 18th, 1975, and Still Crazy After All These Years released on October 25th, 1975. It was Paul Simon's first number one album on the Billboard charts to that point in his career. And the second single on the album, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, also reached number one, his only single to achieve this merit. He also won the Grammy the following year for Album of the Year and Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. The album was a commercial success, going gold in the United States and England, and critically, it was also praised, receiving high marks across the board, and praise for the poignancy and openness of the lyrics on songs like Still Crazy After All These Years. Following the release of this album, Paul Simon would slow down his creative output, taking time to explore other creative outlets like acting. He was inducted into the Rock Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, pardon me, twice. Once as half of Simon and Garfunkel in 1990, and then 11 years later in 2001, he was inducted as a solo artist. Thanks so much for watching with the family. If you liked the video, feel free to drop us a like. It lets us show you more of these records. And if you're new here, new around to the family, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a record. We do pull them out six times a week. Uh, now, with that said, stay tuned for the unedited thoughts from me, my record pull, my bloopers, anything that was good on the tape today, I'm going to throw it all after this. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in that. Otherwise, hey, thanks a lot for being here. Thanks so much. Love you all. And I will see you with the next record. Bye-bye.
Now, anyone who's been here for a while is going to remember my last encounter with Paul Simon, where I discovered his membership in Simon and Garfunkel. So, uh, yes, this time, obviously, I was aware of that. I uh, went into this album knowing that. Uh, really cool album, nice album. Uh, there's a reason Paul Simon's so popular. He has a great voice. He is a great songwriter. And he picks really interesting sounds, uh, which I really appreciate. Uh, Still Crazy After All These Years is definitely a great song, big fan of that one, but there's a few other good ones, including, I believe it's called Lion Eyes, it's the end of the album, obviously a uh, track that it seems to me anyway, like pretty critical of Israel, um, so yeah, very interesting track there to hear that. Uh, also again, uh, once again, I, I did the same thing, so maybe um, that'll just be a running thing, that I never turn it around, and you just have to stick, stay around to the, uh, to the uh, extra here to see that. Uh, I don't know. I hope not. I hope that one day I will remember to turn it around properly, but that's what you have to deal with until now. But yeah, other than that, uh, man, what's going on? Yesterday, my Eagles video, uh, big fan of that album. Unfortunately, it was my first short video ever that uh, I got dinged copyright on a couple times um, for Take It Easy and then um, uh, I forget what song I'm trying to play next because I'm pretty sure I left it in there and I just cut it down a little bit but anyway yeah they dinged me a couple times for copyright where like the video wouldn't even show up so I had to spend a good amount of time re-editing that short uh, with different music until it hit so hopefully that's not going to be the case uh, with this album uh, pretty much Anytime that I put anything up that has had a copyright, which has been a couple of the shorts, um, it was always not an issue. Like it said, hey, uh, you know, this is a copyright, obviously, because it's someone else's song, but you can still use it. So, uh, and that's, you know, the way I think about it is like, man, I'm not giving away the album or anything. I'm giving you 40 seconds of music content from the album. And in my mind, it's like, yeah, that's going to spur you to go and listen to the album if you hear something that you like. So. I don't really get that, but uh, I understand that's also part of the YouTube ecosystem. So, you know, just stuff that I'm, I'm going to work on, work with. Um, also, second day in a row, new mics. So the mic I showed you yesterday is still being used, just not for this. The stand-up now is on this mic. Again, hopefully that's just going to be a nice boost in audio quality, and we'll just maintain that and go forward. But, um, yeah, great, because this mic was not supposed to show up for, like, another week or so. So really good news on that and uh yeah definitely uh great uh man i'm just looking at paul simon's cute little picture there uh great uh album here uh really nice to listen to on a day like today today's just like super sunny super nice it's friday love it um so anyway i'm gonna go chop this up now uh get this ready for you guys and then i'm hoping that i'm gonna record uh episode 19 stand up afterwards and i might not uh, edit it today i might i might not we'll see but um it's gonna be out so uh yeah thanks for everything thanks for sticking with me uh, i appreciate you guys all so much um leave your thoughts on this album in the comments below i would love to uh know what your favorite song on the album is what your favorite paul simon album is if simon and garfunkel should have ever broken up stuff like that i will chat to you soon i will pull another record tomorrow we got more music coming take care love you Bye.